Well, it's closing time for a South End institution. After 87 years, Charlie's Sandwich Shop is now shutting its doors. Chief Correspondent Joe Shortsleeve paid a visit just as longtime customers were hearing the news. Handshakes and smiles. Mixed in with the omelets this morning, after nine decades, Charlie's will close for good next month. Arthur Mangiarini's father was here when the place opened in 1927 and ended up buying it. So Arthur started working here when he was 12, 61 years ago. And at age 73, he says he wants to walk out, not be carried out. You know, I had a, a knee operation a few months ago, and I stayed home. I had to stay home. And I kind of liked it. <laughs> On the wall, Boston's history, including photos of Sammy Davis Jr. and a telegram from Duke Ellington, who forgot his coat one night. We were one of the few places that served black people. And I mean, it was, um, you know, it wasn't that long ago. You wouldn't realize that it was, was so prejudiced, you know, Boston. Eleven months ago, while campaigning for Ed Markey, President Obama stopped in and ordered a cheeseburger and fries to go. And my sister was waiting on them and said, does Michelle know you're eating French fries and cheeseburgers? <laughs> I don't tell her. The South End building is worth a small fortune. And a few months ago, they finally agreed to sell. Marie Fuller is Arthur's sister. I've been working here 46 years, and it's been my life, and it's very hard to say goodbye. Longtime customers agree. I think these guys should work until they're 90, 100 years old. So the last day will be Saturday, June 28th. When I asked if they're planning anything special that day, he said no. We'll close at 2.30 like we always have. At Charlie's Sandwich Shop in the South End, Joe Shortsley, WBC News.